Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. I am Alex and I'm going to talk about tech degrees at WGU. I'm going to compare some of the tech degrees. I'm going to say which degree might be right for you and what kind of jobs you can expect and if it's a good degree income wise. Is it a good degree in today's market? So we're going to get into that. I'm going to compare not all of the tech degrees, but I'm going to, I've handpicked four of them that I would like to compare. Now, I've also made other comparison videos you can check out. I have a WGU computer science versus software engineering video that you can check out. I have a WGU cloud computing versus cybersecurity video you can check out. So I have done comparison videos in the past. This one kind of goes over a comparison of four. And basically, we're going to see which one is the right degree for you. Although I cannot decide that for you. But hopefully this video can show you which one is the most right degree for you and also which one can you hack the most as well. So a lot of you guys watch my videos because you want to hack a college degree. You want to get a college degree done in a very short amount of time compared to four years. You want to get a degree done in one year, maybe a year and a half, maybe even six months. You want to get a degree done really, really fast and get out into the job market. And yes, you can learn all those skills from that four year degree at a normal school in a one year condensed period if you really, really dedicate yourself to that one full year. So let's get into it. Let's compare these degrees right now. So today we're going to go over the user experience degree, the computer science degree, the cybersecurity degree, and the software engineering degree. So we're going to compare four tech degrees. Now the user experience degree is listed under the business section and the tech section, but I consider this a tech degree. So Whatever you want to do, if you if you really want to be a UI UX designer, which there's not a lot of jobs compared to these other three, then you just have to decide if that's your passion or not. If you really want to do UI UX design, research the field, research what it's about, research if you love designing things. Now, I think what a better path might be instead of a UI UX designer would be a product manager. And I do think this would be an excellent degree to get if you want to be a product manager. So I would actually combine this degree with like an MBA. And I think that would be an excellent degree combination for a product management career path. Now, usually product manager would require more of a tech degree, such as computer science or software engineering combined with experience or combined with an MBA. But you don't necessarily need that. So I do think user experience design does have some crossover with product management. Now you're not going to be focusing solely on products, but you do do a lot of, you know, user experience. You do a lot of designing. You do a lot of, uh, you know, wireframing and prototyping. You do a lot of the same stuff in product management as well. Wireframes, prototyping, um, you know, user experience, psychology, user design, etc. You know, just a lot of crossover. So if you want to work in product management or you do want to be a UI UX designer, I would highly recommend this degree. If I was going to go back to WGU, I already have a computer science degree, but if I was going to go back to WGU, I'd probably do this degree. I think it adds a lot of good skill sets to your resume. And just looking over the curriculum here, it's a very good curriculum. I've you can check out my WGU UI UX degree video, which goes over this, uh, it goes over this degree in more detail. So if you want to be a product manager, UI UX designer, this is a fantastic degree to get. Also with this degree, you can hack it pretty fast. Uh, you can hack any four of these degrees in about two terms. You can probably do most of these in one term as well. Although they would all be hard in one term. I think the easiest one to do in a six month term probably would be the user design or software engineering one. Those two degrees I think are the most hackable in one term. Computer science and cybersecurity might take you two terms, uh, but they're also doable in one term. Now cybersecurity is probably the hardest one to do in one term. There's a lot of certifications to get. So unless you transfer in all those certifications and do them out of pocket before WGU, cybersecurity probably would take you at least two terms but it is all of these are doable in uh, one term. So great, great degree here with user experience design. Check out the video for that one. Software engineering. If you want to be a software engineer, 
you want those lucrative salaries, uh, climb the ladder, work as a software engineer for multiple years, you can easily make three, four hundred thousand dollars climbing the ladder in a large company. So this is definitely uh, software engineering and computer science are probably the most lucrative degrees on this list, uh, this comparison of four. So software engineering and computer science, you know, a, a lot of people will debate with me that computer science is not the gold standard, but it is the gold standard. If you look at most job postings, even software engineer job postings, it will say computer science or software engineering degree, or it will say computer science degree. So computer science degree is actually much more recognized when it comes to software engineering jobs compared to an actual software engineering degree. So software engineering degrees are still absolutely fantastic. Um, they're still becoming more mainstream, but they're still, I think they're just about an equivalent to computer science. And I do think it, it does prepare you a little more for the job itself. I've said in my comparison video of computer science for software engineering that a computer science degree prepares you for a job interview better because it's going to prepare you better for data structures and algorithms and how to solve those interview problems, whereas a software engineering degree will prepare you for the actual job itself. But a job is likely going to train you if you're a new grad anyways. So, you know, while the software engineering degree will teach you the things you need for the job, even if... If you got a computer science degree and you pass the interview, you're basically going to learn those skills on the job. So you're basically going to be uh, trained and you're also going to learn the world of Stacks Overflow and basically also ChatGPT. And you're going to learn a lot of shortcuts when it comes to coding. Nobody just sits there and codes from scratch all day. That's, that's not how software engineering works. I know a lot of people get imposter syndrome and they don't know if they can cut it. Like they think they're just gonna be sitting there coding all day and I'm just telling you that's not what usually happens. Basically, you're, a lot of coding is copy and pasting, right? Not all of it, you will be writing some code for sure. But a lot of it's copy pasting, a lot of it is looking up problems you don't know how to solve on Stacks Overflow. A lot of it is like going on ChatGPT, which is becoming more and more popular. Uh, and you'll, you know, you'll see if your code is, um, what's wrong with it or Maybe you can just ask ChatGPT to fill something in for you and then test it out. There's many, many ways, right? So work smarter, not harder. Software engineering degree and the computer science degree. The computer science one is going to teach you more theory and it has more artificial intelligence classes. So if you really like artificial intelligence and you want to prepare for the artificial intelligence WGU master's degree coming out, then I would highly recommend doing the computer science degree. So... I think I'll probably do the AI masters myself at WGU, which I will make a Facebook group for. And if you want to do that degree, I would highly recommend doing a computer science curriculum and not a software engineering curriculum. Now, if you want to get a software engineer job and you really want to know what you're doing on the job, a software engineering degree is terrific. And you get to skip some of the harder math classes. Uh, this doesn't have calculus to my knowledge. And you get to skip data, you get to skip discrete math one and two as well. You still have to do data structures one, but other than that, this is a much easier degree from a math perspective. And it teaches you all the hard skills you need to know for software engineers. So very great degree. I'm a big fan of both. Um, I, I like both of these quite a bit. I like all four of these degrees. Uh, so computer science will teach you theory. If you really want to learn about computers, it'll teach you, it'll teach you software engineering as well. It'll teach you web development. Uh, there's data. You'll learn data. Basically, you'll learn everything you need to know about, you know, working in tech. And then you learn all the fundamentals of computers, like computer architecture, um, you know, basically hard math, just all all the things you would need to know, like operating systems is very crucial. And then all these artificial intelligence classes as well. So artificial intelligence is becoming a core part of all computer science degrees. And WGU just edited this like a couple months ago. Cybersecurity, I've been on the record saying there's no cybersecurity jobs entry level unless you're military. So if you're military, you'll probably have some luck getting an entry level cybersecurity job. But if you get a cybersecurity degree and you're not military, you're probably gonna have a hard time finding an entry level job. You're gonna have to settle for some kind of IT job first. That's not like a cybersecurity analyst. 
uh, not a security analyst, um, basically nothing to do with security. It'll be some kind of lower IT role. Um, I've never worked in IT. I've, I've never had an IT degree, so I, I don't know what those lower roles usually are. Um, I know there's like database administrator and help desk and all those types of things. So um, help desk is usually like the most common one people start out with when they get like an IT degree or a cybersecurity degree. And, you know, you basically do that for like a year or so and then try to find some other type of job, like some kind of an administrator job. Uh, DevOps, a lot of people move into DevOps. So, but if you really want to be like a cybersecurity analyst, that's usually going to be like after a few years and you need a lot of networking. Like I would definitely, you know, make a LinkedIn and network your butt off. And your first cybersecurity job might actually be like a cyber a cybersecurity consultant for like a very small company. And from there, you can probably get a security analyst job eventually. So the cybersecurity curriculum, if you really want to do this, it's a pretty fun degree. Uh, I think out of all the people that watch my channel from WGU, I think the computer science degree is most of my viewers. And then cybersecurity is actually like a pretty close second. It's actually an extremely popular degree. So I just want people to be aware like it is tough to break into. So it has a lot of great courses on here, managing cloud security, uh, Linux foundations, just a really great curriculum. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm a big fan of all four of these degrees. Penetration testing, vulnerability analysis, fundamentals of information security, information system security, digital forensics. Just a really good curriculum. I think WGU prepares you hands-on. Uh, like a lot of other cybersecurity degrees will only teach you the theory. So this will teach you actual hands-on application and it comes with a ton of certifications. So this comes with like most of the CompTIA certifications. So right off the bat, like your resume has like all these certifications you can list and certifications are pretty big in the cybersecurity world. Uh, and you got some other like non CompTIA certifications such as Linux essentials and uh, some other ones that are not really that important as well. So it's a great degree. I really recommend the if you're going to do cybersecurity, I recommend it at WGU 100% because unlike other schools, it comes with all the certifications and you're going to need these certifications. So you might as well just do them both together, you know, at WGU. So now if you guys are interested in doing any of these degrees in six to 12 months, I do have a website called majormatch.com. So if you want to do any of these degrees in six months, they're all hackable. We call this degree hacking. So I'm very familiar with degree hacking because I've done this myself. I have hacked a, a bachelor degree in one year. It is 100% possible. You know, I always advocate do not spend four years in school. Do not, you know, spend all that money on school. Pay one year of school. Do one year of time. Sure, you're going to be extremely busy with school that year. Probably not going to have much of a social life or anything like that. But if you really want to get it done one year and just save yourself all that time and get in the workforce, you can absolutely do that. So that's the great thing about WGU is you can actually hack any of these degrees really fast. One of the ways you would do that is by transferring in ACE credit courses. So ACE credit courses are courses you can do in days, such as study.com and straighter line and et cetera. So these courses you can do in days each, you know, let's say you go do us history one on study.com or straighter line or wherever you decide to do it. You can do these courses in like three days. So imagine having three college credits in three days. So you're probably gonna be confused on how to transfer these in and what classes will transfer. I have spreadsheets on majormash.com that you can look into and they'll show you exactly the course equivalent that you can transfer in. Once you complete all of that, you'll transfer in the max ACE credits you can transfer in and then you will really, really, really hustle to try to complete your WGU degree in one or two terms. So one term at WGU is six months. So you'll basically do whatever you can to graduate really fast. So WGU is a competency-based school. And what that means is you can go at your own pace once you get into WGU. You can do a course at WGU in a day if you want. WGU is based off one exam so if you take that exam you can take it the same day and if you pass it 
you pass the whole class just based off that one exam. Now there's also writing courses instead of test courses, but you can do those in a couple days as well. If you like really sit there and write all day. And then the other one is only in tech degrees where it's project based. So you'll like complete some kind of coding project, etc. These ones usually take a little longer. It could take you a week or two. It just depends how challenging the project is, how much time you have, um, how well you understand it. And if you've had experience dealing with, you know, whatever this is before, if you're learning it from scratch, it might take you a few weeks, depending on the course. So that is how WGU works. Uh, like I said, it's my favorite school. I think it teaches you the most. And the fact that it's so flexible and you can get done so fast by hacking college and getting a four-year degree in one year is an amazing cheat code. WGU is also, I believe, the only school that allows you to graduate at 18 years old. So you can, you can compile these ACE credits at 16 and 17 years old, actually. A lot of people don't know this. So if you're a parent, if you're watching this and you're watching it for your child, you, your child can accumulate ACE credits at 16 or 17. And basically, they can enroll in WGU and graduate with a bachelor degree at 18. And then they can go in the workforce at 18 instead of 22. And they got a four-year head start on all of their friends. So I believe WGU is the only school that allows this because Thomas Edison State University actually has an age 20 requirement to enter their school. I think UMPI might also have an age requirement, but you'll have to fact check me on that. But I know for sure TESU does have a uh, age 20 requirement because they don't want a bunch of people graduating their school at 18 or 19. So WGU though, you can graduate at 18. You can acquire all these ACE credits very fast while you're still in high school, you know, and basically work on those, those classes the same time you're working on your high school classes. So get a bachelor degree at 18 or 19, uh, get in the workforce faster, get one of these four very lucrative tech degrees, make six figures. You guys can do this. So I think tech is going to be coming. It's coming back. It's going to be booming again, in my opinion. Uh, economies go in cycle. Hiring sprees go in cycles. So I think the economy and the tech market is going to change over the next year. And I think we will see a hiring spree again. Now, don't directly quote me on that, but I'm very confident we will see that. So everything goes in cycles. So hopefully we will see another hiring spree. And hopefully we'll see... Um, Plenty of new software engineers minted, plenty of new security analysts minted, you know, plenty of new UX, UI designers minted. So I wish you all the best of luck on your journey. Remember that you can start your career faster than you think. What held me back for a long time was thinking I had to go to school for four years. But during the pandemic, I found out with lots of research that I can do this in one year. And so can all of you. So you can get this done in a year. You can get your dream job. You can get your dream salary. I believe in you guys. I always have. I know you can do this. Have a great day, guys.